Hi, I'm David Dodge. Welcome to Green Energy Futures. It's been a decade or so since home builders started embracing the idea of building net zero homes. Homes that produce all the energy they need. Net Zero revolutionizes the idea of a self-sufficient home that is future-proof, less dependent on energy prices, and hyper-efficient. TerraView is a builder from Guelph, Ontario, that embraced the idea of Net Zero in the early days. So we have moved in 50 homeowners. We have sold 70-plus. Uh, we have a number that are still in the pipe and uh, have yet to be constructed. That's David Bricks, president of TerraView Homes, who has sold 70 net zero ready homes and is planning to build 230 more. I think the public has become far, far more aware and they see the benefits to the environment and to their comfort and their air quality and their pocketbook. That's Andrew Lambden owner of TerraView Homes. And as David Bricks explains, consumers are now looking to go green and like the idea of net zero ready. In the most part, we're preaching to the converted already. Um, I think the world itself is opening its eyes to the fact that, you know, we are destroying the planet and we need to do better. So the younger generation is certainly more um, enamored with a net zero ready house. Besides, Bricks says the add-on cost to take a home to net zero ready is only twenty five to thirty thousand dollars, which he says will more than pay for itself. Well the the biggest uh, difference between a code built and a net zero built home would be uh, the thermal envelope. We um, fully insulate every part of the house. We actually spray foam the gravel in the basement before we pour the slab, which greatly reduces energy lost to the ground below the house. The foundation walls are spray foamed and then insulated within that. Um, And then the exterior walls are an R32, the attics are an R60, and the windows are triple pane, which are basically three times as efficient as standard windows would be. Thanks to a lot of R&D, TerraView Homes now includes a dual-fuel furnace with a heat pump, uses on-demand water heating, drain water heat recovery, and energy recovery ventilation that conserves and provides the small amount of heat that these hyper-efficient tight homes require. Well, for anybody who's well-versed, if you were to build a code-built house, you'd basically have five air changes per hour while being tested or put under pressure by the the floor door. Uh, if you're building an Energy Star home, it has to be under two and a half air changes per hour, and Net Zero Ready has to be under one and a half. Uh, by using the aero barrier technology, we actually reduce that by half again. So we're down to like 0. 0.6, 0. 0.7 air changes, which is pacifos level of construction. Okay, this is super geeky, but 0. 0.6 air exchanges per hour is outstanding. And thanks to air filtering, these homes are healthier to live in as well. David Brick says this is the most exciting time in home building in a long time. And if you thought COVID killed the housing market, think again. Oh, it's actually um, exceedingly robust. It's like almost like a market we've never seen. Uh, When COVID hit, you know, I thought, oh, here we go. Uh, This is going to be 2010 all over again. We had a strong market, it seemed, and this was going to be a fantastic year, and COVID is going to just kill it off. There was a period of probably six weeks to two months there where it was very quiet as people were told to stay home. Um, But after they spent six weeks to, uh, to two months sequestered in their small, old, little space, um, they've decided that it's time to move into something that meets their needs, should they be forced to spend a lot more time indoors. Uh, There seems to be a mass exodus out of the greater Toronto area where um, COVID is much worse for them. And anybody who's in a high rise um, is finding it's difficult when you're confined to a small space and all your amenities were taken away. So those who were buying closer to the GTA so that they could uh, have a shorter commute are now realizing 
they can move further afield, um, have more space, and only commute to the office maybe once or twice a week, not five days a week. So, people are embracing net zero ready homes and avoiding utility costs. Learn more at greenenergyfutures.ca. For Green Energy Futures, I'm David Dodge.